Hi guys, this is your casual gamer. First of all, let me apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment. So today we're going to undervolt the Steam Deck. We're basically lowering the voltage to save energy and run at lower temperatures. At the same time, we're going to see some performance improvements because we can lessen thermal throttling. Thermal throttling is if clock speeds are being lowered due to high temperatures. While you cannot fire your Steam Deck through undervolting, let me warn you that there is a possibility for you to break your Steam Deck if you're not careful. That's why it is important that you do each step one at a time. So each chip is different, which means that there are no general values for this that will work for everyone. Some people will be able to undervolt their Steam Decks further than others. I want you to keep that in mind. Again, do this at your own risk. Okay, before we start, let me note that the BIOS tool is not compatible with SteamOS 3.5. So you need to stay on a stable channel for now until the tool has been updated. SteamOS 3.5 updates the BIOS and is currently not compatible with the BIOS tool. Alright, anyway, let's get started. You will need a USB drive, a USB hub and a wired keyboard. It has to be wired. A Bluetooth keyboard will not work here. First, format your USB drive and make sure you're using the FAT32 file format. You then want to extract the smokeless UMAF beta files to your USB drive. The link to the website is in the description. Connect the USB drive and the keyboard to the USB hub and connect it to your Steam Deck. Make sure that the deck is turned off. Boot into the boot menu by pressing volume down and then the power button. Once you are inside the boot menu, select the USB drive from the list. I have the Steam Deck positioned vertically because the screen orientation will change once the boot tool has loaded. Once inside the menu, select Device Manager from the top. Then select AMD CBS, followed by SMU Debug Options. Then SMI Feature Config Limits. Look for SV13 Voltage Control and change the setting to Manual. Then change the VDDCR voltage offset below it to negative. You can now change the values for the CPU, chipset and GPU. Just to avoid confusion, what you see here on the screen are my personal settings. Do not copy them. You want to start at a value of 10 and work your way up in increments of 5, just to be safe. So under VDD voltage offset, enter 10. Change the SOC voltage beneath it to negative. And then do the same for SOC GFX and GFX CVIP. Now press the escape key. Once you see the blue prompt, press Y, then press escape, select continue, and then press enter to reset. The Steam Deck will reboot. What you want to do now is test for stability and performance issues. If we undervolt too far, the CPU will suffer from performance loss and this will lead to crashes. Should everything work fine, then you can repeat the previous steps and change the first entry to 15. Remember to do this one at a time. I know it can be time consuming, but if you undervolt the system too much, it might not boot up. In this case, you can try to reset the BIOS by pressing volume down the Steam setting button, which is the button with the three dots, and the power button at the same time. Sometimes it requires a couple of tries. If it doesn't work, another option is to disconnect the battery for a couple of minutes. The results will depend on each game, but in general you should see lower temperatures when you cap your frame rate and better performance. On top of that, you should see some extended playtime. I hope you did find today's video informative. I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!